for us, we can't wait for perfect. Sometimes things are a little different because it's like, look, we're about to go raise $7 million. We can't just tell those $7 million of people, hey, if we mess up, man, we'll just figure it out. Yeah, bro. it'll be good, guys. Can a lot of people see the lifestyle and they're like, how do I get that? They're looking at it that, that that's the leading indicator. Money, success, that's all the leading indicator. The lagging indicator is the fact that you put in the work for that time. Put right? in the work. You're living in the dirt. Like, yeah. Nothing is sexy about it. Not nothing. a single thing nothing. is fun. Not, not, not the money you're making, not the hours, not the crap you're dealing with. There is nothing sexy about it. For sure. But it's what has to be done. I, sure. I, I don't think anybody, get, I mean, luckily for you, the program you're with uh, in Iowa and stuff, you you already could tell school's kind of weird. I want to follow these guys around. I mean, the, entrepre the entrepreneurial path is certainly not for somebody who, who thinks they can just start day one and work 30, well, 40 hours a week. Yeah, I mean, a couple other things, like I'm not a perfectionist. You know, that's why I like, you know, I can step back from something and let like develop the system, let the team run. Is it going to be 100% perfect? No. That's fine. Like, you know, whether you're doing apartments or, or whatever it is, you're not striving for perfection. No, no. You know, done is better than perfect. You're just getting it done. Like, yeah, you want a great product. You can set the expectations really high. They missed the mark a little bit on, you know, something fantastic. It's still going to be pretty fantastic. I mean, look, so if you wait for everything to be perfect before you move forward, especially in our world, if you wait for everything to be perfect to move forward, you're, you're never going to be able to move forward. That's for sure. But I can tell you that uh, I, when you started, did, were you starting with kind of your own capital? And the reason I'm the reason I'm asking that, you know, I don't get too personal, but for us, we can't wait for perfect. But sometimes things are a little different because it's like, look, we're about to go raise seven million dollars. We can't just tell those seven million dollars of people, hey, if we mess up, man, we'll just figure it out. Yeah, bro. it'll be good, guys. Yeah. Uh, so it's a little different, and I think your story is that you went all in on yourself and more than more than just your time, but also your finances. Yeah, I mean, when I first started, I had some friends and family yeah. money, you know, uh, yeah, asked my uncle, asked my dad, yeah, yeah. Um, paid them all back. Uh, they had equity ownership and all that kind of stuff, uh, paid them all back early on. Um, now for Untamed Kitchen, I'm opening two restaurants all on my own. Um, I've had like hundred people, dozens and dozens of people ask for like, oh, you know, can we invest now? Can we give you a hundred grand? Can we give you this? Can we give you that? I said no to everybody. That's awesome. As I'm sharing my, my brand, I'm sharing like this information of what I'm going to do more so like manifesting it rather than like, I'm not asking for capital at the end. I'm just saying here, this is what I'm going to do. But what if we gave you 101 grand today? <laughs> Unmarked bills. Uh, it, it would have to be a million dollars. Even for then, honestly, I wouldn't even take a million. That's awesome. Well, that's that's awesome. And you know what? I, I tried to make a, I tried to say that there's a little bit difference, and sometimes there is, but actually, it sounds a little closer than I was saying because when you're starting those those paths, that's what we did. We kind of went in on ourselves and we started small. Mm -hmm. Then we start with friends and family, just like you did. Start with friends and family, and you proved the concept, you proved your experience, and that was what allowed you to. So I guess it's kind of the same path. It is, yeah, for sure. I mean, you want to prove it out, right? It's like, look what I did. I opened. I'm going to open two new restaurants. I'm going to have the revenue. Hope you know. Yeah. Hopefully, but I, yeah, you know, I'm going to have the revenue, right? It's like, okay, now I'll raise money. Yeah, and if you want in, you want in. If you don't want in, that's fine. You're going to miss out that's on the cool. opportunity. I've already. I'm proven. just going to go. Yeah, I've already proven it. Now I'm going to go, and now I have the leverage. Yep. You know, if you start with, oh, I need to go find an investor before I can buy a single family home. That's tough. It's tough. Especially if you don't know what you're doing. It's tough. I mean, it's a it's a tough game, right? But it's like, if you're a hard enough worker, you know, and you've read enough books, you've gone all in on it, you have mentors, you check all the boxes, you can do whatever you want. You just have to, you just have to go all in.